This video production is sponsored in part by Packin' Away Mobile Storage. We bring the storage unit to your door, pack it at your place, and store it at ours. Packin' Away Mobile Storage is a division of Highway Number no. 1 Self Storage. We are proud supporters of the Number no. 2 Lightning Sprint, the 20X Modified, and the 64 Late Model. In the Remax K4 Emory Demolition 10W Victory Circle, this is Ward Emory. Inside row number five, driving the A1 car, sponsored by A1 Environmental and Superior Asphalt. Along with Miller Racing Engines, this is Ian Russo. And driving the nine car out of Marquette, Manitoba, this is the Santana Kennels. Number nine, the Ford is Lee McRae. And rounding out the field in the 51, sponsored by Lee River Transport, is Kevin Sexton. CNIBs provide support to people who are blind or partially sighted. Don't forget to support their raffle. Nice to speak with Executive Director Gary Nensen after our first feature event of the night. Well-spoken gentleman and Executive Director of CNIB, a great organization. Well, the driver that's starting on the pole in the Direct Auto Incorporated 29K absolutely drove away from the field in his heat race. We're going to see if he can do that again. Looks like we have an 11-car field here for this modified race. Frank is out. Here we go in the mods. Well, one down already. 14 to go. Ryan Carroll is flying. Second spot, Darian Boyce in the Packing Away Mobile Storage 20X. Third is the one, that is Rick Delane. Fourth is Staff, fifth, Russo. Sixth is Emery. Ryan Carolook is looking spectacular in the Direct Auto Incorporated Coyote Ventures Remax 29K. Voice second, third is the 1R of Rick Delane, then it's Danny Staff, then it's Ward Emery. Don't forget Emery and the 1R of Rick Delane are tied going into this race in points. Right now, Rick Delane is up two points on them if they finish just like this. Delane into the second spot. Emory into fourth, so Emory is giving chase to Delane here. Delane second, third Darian Boyce. Fourth is the 10W of Ward Emory. Danny Staff in the Regent Construction Miller Engine seven is fifth.
Rick Delane now coming up on the back of the 29K. together. Rick Delane has a chance at 35 points here if he can win this one. Look at the racing for first and second. Kerala doing a great job holding the 1R back. Kerala is your leader followed by Delane. Here comes Emory now. Yellow flag is out. Oh boy, is this going to be a good finish? All right, 29K, the one, the 20X, and the 10W. Now, we want to go back over the points here because Ward Emery in the 10W is deadlocked for first with the 1R of Rick Delane. Remember, 35 points for the feature win, then it goes down to 33 for second, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, etc. So Rick Delane really wants to take this win over Ryan Karolak to get up into that 35 point bracket. Even if Emory could finish second, well, he'll gain two points on Emory. So that is what's going on down on the racetrack and this is a very critical moment. Well, I think as far as uh, Mr. Rick Delane is concerned, just staying in front of Ward Emory at any point in time would be the best option right now. But of course you're right, finishing in first couldn't be sweeter tonight because an extra point here or there definitely does help. Now, you've been here a long time, dear. I'm not making a joke about your age and how long you've been doing this. <laughs> when was the last time Rick Delane won a championship here at the Modified? 2000. 2000. The year 2000. The 13-year drug. Right. But he's doing better than the Bombers. Ah, uh, right. <laughs> Who are the Bombers? <laughs> they are awesome. No doubt about it. Well, Rick Delane, certainly a wily racing veteran, has raced all over the place and done a nice job in the Westbrook Manufacturing Headingley Sports Shop 1R. Carolick was having a heck of a race, but Rick Delane seemed to get quicker and quicker each and every lap. And Rick Delane will be your re leader, rather, on the restart. 20X, uh, sponsored by Packetaway Mobile Storage. That's Darian Boyce. Ken W, Ward Imry, and the seven of Danny Staff. Three laps to go and just three to go. Here we go. Rick Delane on the loud pedal. Here comes Ward Emery on the inside of the 29K. What a finish this could be. Two to go. Ward Emery now takes another stab at the 29K. Emery goes by. Yellow flag is out. Oh boy, what a tough break. We'll go back to the last completed lap of racing, Ken. But I'll tell you what, Ward Emery has been tenacious on the 29K of Karolek, and Karolek has been fantastic out there. Ward went a little deeper into turn three made the pass, but Karolek, I believe, is gonna get his spot back as we go back to the last completed lap of racing. What a night for Ward Emery. Starting the race tonight in the 10th spot, he's worked his way all the way up to almost second. He is on fire, and he is looking to nip at the heels of the 1K. Now, Ryan Karolek, of course, was just speedy in his heat race. Unbelievable to watch. That new paint job 
must make him more aerodynamic or something because he is just flying out there trying to do it again here in the feature but his biggest battle is fighting off Ward Emery. Now Rick Delane, of course, in the pole position for this one again. Just trying to stay ahead of Ward Emery to keep in front in the points race. And with only a few weeks left, wow, this could be fun to watch. Well, Ken, my guess is this. Of course, we're going to a single file style restart. We are one lap to green now. So they must stay in line till they pass that cone. What Ward Emery, I think, is going to have to do is to try to get into the bottom of turn number one as quick as he can and try to get underneath both cars. The lane seems to work kind of good all over the racetrack, as does all the top five cars. However, it seems that Ward Emery does real well when he powers into the bottom of the racetrack. So we'll see if he can sneak up on Carolac here in the Direct Auto Incorporated 29K. But right now, the 1R of Rick Delane has a good spot with two to go. There goes Emery to the bottom side. A little bit of a late start for Ward Emery. But now he goes inside and takes position two. One to go. Can Emery get Delane now? What a great race between Emory and Carolac. Your leader is Rick Delane. If it finishes like this, Delane will be two points up on Ward Emory. Here we come now to the checkered flag. And at the checkered flag, your winner is gonna be Rick Delane. Second spot, Ward Emory, third, the 29K. Fourth is the seven of Danny Staff, and fifth unofficially is the car number 51 of Sexton. What a great race. Rick Delane taking it, Ward Emery doing a masterful job from the eighth starting position. Wow, we, what a finish. And now, unofficially, the 1R of Rick Delane is two points up in the season point standings on the 10W, who won the points last year. So what a battle that's gonna be in a few weeks time, Friday and Saturday night. Log on to our website at redrivercoopspeedway.ca for more information on that event. So Darren, we've got plenty of great racing still going on, is that correct? Here at Red River Co-op Speedway? Oh, I made him go back to the microphone. Yes, of course, we've got lots of great racing. Of course, next week on Thursday night, we have our Pure Stock Championship. We're gonna be racing several classes here. Of course, the Midwest Modifieds will not be there this week as they have the week off, but we will be racing all the other Pure Stock Championships. Plus, of course, we've got one more week of racing where we're gonna have a double night, Friday and Saturday here at Red River Co-op Speedway. So make sure you come here and check it out. That'll include the championship here for the Pro Series. He's driving the Johnson's Barbecue. What are our winner for tonight? Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Rick Delane. Come on up here, Rick. Get your just rewards. Excellent race tonight. That car looked like she was just motoring. Yeah, it uh, finally good. Uh, felt good for a change. It hasn't been that good the last few weeks, and. Uh, you know, the track was a little bit funny today. It had dry strips and tacky strips, and so you had to pick your line. I mean, uh, Carolock, we were racing pretty hard there for a while, and, and uh, I think uh, some of his new bodies wrinkled up a little bit there. He's got a speedy car, but you found your, your move at the right time, snuck right by, and then managed to hold on that lead. However, somebody was nipping at your heels all night. You know who that is. He's right behind you in the point race, Ward Emery. What do you got to do for the next few weeks to stay above? <laughs> we just got to keep doing what we're doing. You know, uh, what was his name again? Ward Emery, you said? 10W, yeah. He may have won a race or two here this year. Yeah, yeah, I think I heard of him. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, you know, he's fast every week and uh, super fast and a uh, good racer. And, and uh, we just got to just, you know, just keep racing our asses off and uh, see how this deal shakes out. And it's, uh, no matter what, it's always fun winning. And I'm, uh, I'm pretty stoked about that. So that's, uh, we'll just, uh, we're going to Grand Forks tomorrow. If we could do the same there, I'd be really happy. I got to ask you a question, okay? And it's going to be tough. It's been a long time since you won a championship here. 
How sweet is it going to be if you can do it again? Oh, that's, uh, that's what we shoot for. That's why we do this. And uh, yeah, it'd be, it'd be super great. Uh, there's a lot of variables in this uh, racing deal. Uh, so you never know what's going to happen. But if we can, uh, we're here to win it. Like we didn't come to, to play around. So you know, we, uh, we kind of sucked the last couple weeks. We didn't look that fast. And that, that wasn't on purpose either. But uh, these things are always working. And uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to you know, keep Ward honest here and uh, uh, make them race for it at the end of the year. All right. Uh, thank some of your sponsors because I know they're helping you out. You know, Westbrook Manufacturing, of course, and uh, uh, Polaris and Powerback, uh, Local 739, uh, Heavenly Sports Shop. Um, you know, without all those guys, Winnipeg Engine, uh, it's uh, be impossible to do. And, uh, you know, and all uh, my daughter, my, my wife, Krista, and Chris, and my Uncle Dennis, without the help of all those guys, uh, like the old saying, I think we sit in the garage, so. Okay, thank you guys so much. Hey, your winner in the Modified Class Night, your current point leader, driving the 1R, it is Rick Delane. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to throw it back up to my counterpart up there who's going to tell you the final details of tonight's racing. Well, thanks very much, Ken. Great job tonight. Of course, it is the end of our program. Congratulations to Rick Delane and the rest of our winners tonight. Don't forget, we're back here next Thursday night. 7.30 is the start time. And, of course, we'll be here for the Monday night championships next Thursday at 7.30. We'll have super trucks, lightning sprints, pure stocks, and four cylinders next Thursday. Log on to our website for more information. Have a safe night and a safe drive home, and we will see you next Thursday at Red River Co-op Speedway. Take it easy.